Welcome to Watch God Glow number four. Four. Scope, 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 scope. Um, <laughs> so today I wanted to talk to you guys um, about how I've seen God Glow this week. Um, and also um, just about something that God's been talking to me about for a very long time. Um, and that is my words. Um, oftentimes I think we give too much power, um, to words or too little power to words. We don't think that they have any power. Um, and looking in the Bible, in Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, um, listen to what the Lord says. He says, death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. I don't want to speak death, friends. If words can be one of two things, death and life, I want to speak life. Um, I don't want to speak death into things, over things, um, into lives, um, or into situations or blessings that God has. I don't want to speak death into that. Um, I think it's very important that we take time and realize um, that the words of our mouth... Um, they have power in them and what we speak over ourselves over other people um it's important um that our words are pleasing to god and sometimes you know what sometimes the truth isn't always like the most pleasing thing to the ear but it's what we need but more importantly than that um it's separating words into two groups words that speak life and words that speak death um and i want to speak words that have life in them and not death um and so also just like a perfect example of this is like in this times, you know, everyone's like, it's Corona time and all this other stuff. And I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, one, you're speaking that over yourself by saying it's that time. Or also another example is like the flu. Um, everyone's talking of, you know, how that's like, it's flu season. No. Like, it's flu season because you said it's flu season. You have everyone else saying that it's flu season. Imagine if no one said it was flu season. If no one acknowledged the fact that it's flu season. Like, yes, I know in the past we've said that and it's happened. But, like, imagine if we actually started saying, like, stop declaring seasons with sicknesses. And stop, you know, like, saying, like, oh, this is going to happen because of so-and-so. Like, no, God's going to get you through it. It's going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. So, like, if we start actually speaking life out of our mouth like this is going to be a beautiful season a beautiful season god's going to teach me so much i'm going to learn so much i'm going to grow and be a better person in the season i'm not going to neglect this season um and let the season just go to waste as this time that i just waited for everything to get back um to normal or like how everyone's saying like the new normal no god's using this time god didn't create this you know the virus and everything but god's using this time that we have in quarantine to bring us into the promised land the the improved us but we have to allow him to do that and i think one of the ways that god's been working with me especially has been in my words he's like diamond i want you to speak life not death um because death has no place in my life that has no place in your life and we shouldn't speak death into like situations and things um instead we should speak life and so i just think that's very important um and yeah so that's just what i wanted to talk to you guys about today um that's how i've seen god glow this week um god's been like speak life speak life um instead of don't speak death because we have a greater calling than that and death because christ died on the cross rose again on the third day um he is risen um and he defeated death hell in the grave and so therefore we are victorious in that um so there's no need to fear there's no need to fret um just speak life in your words and i think that's how god's been really um working with me so i'm gonna pray and then i'll be done dear heavenly father lord we thank you um for words father um we thank you um for your word we thank you um that you're good, Father. Um, Lord, we just ask you, Father, um, to just make our words, um, the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart acceptable in your sight, Father. Um, you are our Lord and our Redeemer, Lord. We ask that you just fill our hearts with your love, Father. Um, show us where to, what to say, where to go, what to do, Father. Um, we just fully surrender to you. Um, our thoughts... Um, our hearts, Father, um, 
And we just ask that you lead us and guide us in all truth, Father. We know that you have good plans for us, Father, um, and that your plans are good. And so uh, we just thank you for this day. We thank you for this opportunity um, to just notice how you glow this week. We look forward to seeing you glow more and more each and every day. Um, And yeah, uh, thank you for being so good and for being the best father ever. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, bye, friends.